Thank you for watching this instructional video of the DCM 201A and 220A digital clamp meters. Let's take a look at the features of these clamp meters. To measure current through the clamp, turn the rotary switch to the appropriate current position. The expected current to be measured will determine which of the two current positions to move to. On the 220A, press the function button to switch between DC and AC current. Press the trigger to open the clamp and insert the conductor to be tested. Make sure the conductor is in the middle of the clamp for the best result. The measured current will be shown on the display. To measure voltage, turn the rotary switch to either the voltage or millivolt position. Press the function button to switch between DC and AC voltage measurement. Insert the red lead into the input jack and the black lead into the comm jack and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The display will show the measured voltage. To measure resistance, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position. The default mode is resistance. Insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The measured resistance will be shown on the display. To measure continuity, Turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position and press the function button to switch to continuity mode. Insert the test leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. To measure diodes, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position and press the function button to switch to diode mode. Insert the test leads into the input and comm jacks. Connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test and the display will show the forward biased voltage drop. For capacitance, turn the rotary switch to the capacitance position. Insert the test leads into the input and comm jacks and connect them to the circuit under test. The measured capacitance will be shown on the display. For frequency measurement, turn the rotary switch to the hertz position. Insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The measured frequency will be shown on the display. Press the Hertz button to switch to duty cycle mode. Connect the leads to the circuit and the display shows the measured duty cycle. Alternatively, in either AC voltage or current modes, press the Hertz button to switch to frequency mode. Press the Hertz button again to switch to duty cycle mode. Press the Hertz button a third time to return to voltage or current mode. For non-contact voltage mode, turn the rotary switch to the NCV position. Move the tip of the meter towards the voltage source to be measured. If the NCV sensor detects voltage, the NCV indicator will flash and the buzzer will beep. The DCM220A has an inrush current function. To measure the inrush current, Turn the rotary switch to either current position and hold the inrush button to switch to inrush mode. Turn off the power to the device that the conductor being measured is connected to and insert the conductor into the clamp. Turn on the power to the connected device and the measured inrush current will be displayed. In most modes, the default range is auto range. To switch to manual range, press the range button. Each press of the button increases the range and returns to the lowest range when pressed in the highest range. To return to auto range, hold the range button. To enter relative mode, press the rel button. In relative mode, the meter stores the value when the button is pressed and displays the current reading compared to the stored value. To return the display to normal, press the rel button again. To show the maximum value recorded, press the max min button. The display will show the maximum value recorded since the button was pressed. If you press the button again, the display will show the minimum value recorded since the button was originally pressed. Pressing the button a third time will show the difference between the maximum and minimum values. Hold the button to return the display to normal. To hold the currently displayed value on the screen, press the hold button. To release the hold, press the hold button again. To turn on the backlight to see in dark environments, hold the backlight button. 
The backlight will stay on for 10 seconds before turning itself off. To turn off the backlight manually, hold the backlight button again. In current modes, turning on the backlight will also turn on the clamp's work light, making it easier to use the clamp in dark environments. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DCM 201A and 220A. For more information on this and any of our other products, please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.